your hands off that hard body. I'm sorry, that sounded way better in my head. Why is he running away? He's not. He's not scared. Oh, he's gonna thunderbolt him? What? Jay taught him how to throw lightning. What is good YouTube, watch you here with a video on Legends Tomorrow Season 3. So in episode 17, we've seen Mullus have a connection to the Flash TV show. So I've been questioning, is Mullus Savitar, has Mullus got a connection to the Speed Force? And now it appears he might have, but there are some logical reasons that tells you no, he doesn't. But he has attributes like the infamous Godspeed that everyone wants to have on the Flash TV show, which actually will be pretty cool. So in the clip beforehand, you would have seen Kid Flash try to throw Speed Force, well, actually, realistically, try and run at Mullis, but Mullis kind of zapped the energy all out of Kid Flash and then threw it back at the second speedster, second fastest speedster alive. Interesting, just like Zoom did in season two, which is interesting. So all the Arrowverse TV shows have some connections in some way. If Mullis turns out to be Savitar, that's another connection because Savitar actually trapped Wally inside the Speed Force. The Speed Force is unknown within the TV show. It's not like the comic books. We don't have any concrete information. The Flash TV show don't like to tell us anything. We rarely even see the Speed Force. So if you don't read the comics, Godspeed has shown the ability to be able to drain the Speed Force from other beasters who DNA hasn't completely 100% bonded with the Speed Force unless the Speed Force is taken willingly from the speedster. The speedster will be killed and will also lose their powers. So if Godspeed did ever come to the Flash season five, season six, season seven, season eight, if it even gets that far, they're gonna have to slightly change the powers because they're not gonna kill Barry Allen or kill anyone like that. So Godspeed is the only speedster who can directly be in two places at once and also the only speedster who can actually take take powers off people. This is something that the Flash hasn't used to their ability because the way the Flash season three ended with the Speed Force Storms, everyone thought, wow, we're gonna get loads of new speedsters. And then it turned out we didn't get it, but that's a trick they missed. And maybe they used the Speed Force Storms later on in another season. So within the Flash TV show, Barry Allen and now Kid Flash have lost their abilities. So most recently in the Flash season four, Iris West lost or gained her power, gained her Speed Force powers, and Barry lost his Speed Force powers when and a metahuman with the ability to swap DNA actually gave Iris speedster abilities for one episode and then she had purple lightning and that was awesome. So if you watch the clip at the start of the video, it is exactly like the episode from season one, power outage when the Flash loses his speed from a metahuman called Blackout when he robs the Flash's speed, basically cipher, ciphering the electricity from the speed force from Barry Allen, draining him so he couldn't tap into his speed force. And that is essentially what what Mullis did in this episode and then Mullis threw a lightning bolt back in. So in The Flash season two, Barry threw a lightning bolt at Zoom and Zoom catched it, well caught it and chucked it back in, which is pretty funny, but fake gay, Jar gay, fake Jay Garrick taught Barry that. So all this is trying to tell us is that Mullis is from a different dimension, different universe. He's so OP, the bit where he says, I don't even need the totem, just is trying to tell the audience how powerful is Mullis. I don't even think they can defeat Mullis because realistically, he 
boss Wally. So I think it's just to show you how powerful Mullis actually is. He has a lot of attributes just like the God of Speed, the self-proclaimed God of Speed has, who appeared to be godlike until we've realized that it was just a time remnant that didn't really make any sense to the point where the executive producer at last year's Comic Con couldn't even explain it. So even if Mullis has no connection to the Speed Force, hopefully I've explained how he did what he did in that episode. But it would be very cool if there was some connection to the Speed Force because they are building this character up like Mullis actually is Savitar or he could be the God of Speed. So guys, who is Mullis and how is he going to be defeated? Because realistically at the moment, I don't think anyone can defeat him because he bossed the Speedster, he bosses everyone, he can take over Sarah Lance, aka White Canary. Who can actually defeat him? And do you want Godspeed to come to the Flash TV show? I think it would be incredibly cool, but I can't see it happening for a few years yet because he's still in a current arc in DC Rebirth 2016. Well, recently as last week, he's he's kind of working with the flash now so godspeed is more like an anti-hero so if they ever bring godspeed to the flash tv show they're gonna have to revamp his character or make him kind of like an anti-hero i guess but i don't know guys anyway let me know in the comment box down below how do you think it's gonna play in legends tomorrow and do you think mullis is actually the god of speed do you actually think he's a speedster personally i've got no idea but i most likely will put godspeed in the title anyway guys hit the bell button down below to join team war stew and the warheads and i will catch you in that comment section very soon guys anyway guys catch ya later